there's David, uh, our slowest cook at the moment, but he will become a master chef, uh, whether he likes it or not. Hi guys, welcome back to episode 24. Uh, we are going to be uh, making a, a massive change to the base. Uh, we need to start getting things set up so that we can, first of all, have enough bedrooms for our dupes. Uh, we need to make sure we've got the capacity for the food. Uh, we need to we need to do a lot basically. Um, there's a number of little bugs in here that are not doing as well as I'd like. Uh, so you know I've got all this carbon dioxide massive buildup over here, and it always seems to emanate this side. I need to deal with that because nothing goes over here. The um, whole uh, section here. The, I mean these these things are not running efficiently. So that is using. Uh, let me have a look at how much. Um, electricity that is using for what is actually pumping out so that is pumping out um 40 no hang on go to the pipe content entity okay we'll look at that one 100 grams of gas okay so it's pumping out little chunks of 100 grams of gas and how much does it cost to me well it's costing me power consumed 360 watts Ooh. Right, what's going on with that? That's because, of, so basically what I need to do is set this to uh, the bar slightly higher and activate if it's above. So that will then stop working and will allow the gas pressure to build up. Um, so that is kind of what I need to uh, start doing a bit more. And the same with in here, we're looking at less than 100 grams of natural gas. So we need to source out how things are running uh, to be more efficiently. Um, this is still working beautifully, 100 odd kilos in here. Um, yeah, so there's there's a lot to be done. So what I'm going to start with, I think, is looking at these, the base, to start extending that out so that we can actually have more dupes, sort out the food, uh, make sure the sleep grain is operational, because at the moment we are constantly getting stifled and it keeps saying it's in a toasty environment so i need to really work out what's going on with that um so that that can actually start uh being more effectively managed uh so i need to get a few more um uh, sleep wheats and i think the uh this little cold biome down here has got three so i'll probably dig those out along with uh digging a bit more of this and unearthing any oh hang on natural gas there as well okay so we could have another th we could have three natural gas ge geysers that we need to uh, start um, capturing the gas from uh, along with putting more atom uh, switches on these things so with all that to go on we'll see you in a moment Okay guys, we're back. Let me just pause this for you so we can actually talk about what we've actually uh, done with the main base. So at the moment we have now got three stories of uh, cots and we've actually introduced four more dupes. Um, these are the guys that uh, we, because I want to try and increase this up to about 50 uh, and then see how big I can get it. We have uncovered another hatch, so we've I've left him up here. So we now have three hatches. So there's this little one down here, the one that's still over here, and this boy at the top. Um, the base has, uh, if we look at the oxygen level, it's uh, doing really well. And if we go onto the gas, we've got all this top section uh, totally maxed out. And we've started uh, pumping uh, this section, uh, the top, uh, as well. So we've added the gas there. Now, that is looking beautiful. The guys should have no issues in there. Uh, we've... Uh, put in a new cooking stations so essentially I can make uh, enough food uh, for all my dupes in one cycle uh, I think it lasts me about um, four cycles so it means they can I can just get everybody make cooking and they'll do it for one cycle and I get four to do put everybody else on everything else I want to do 
which is interesting. Uh, we've moved the uh, all this uh, the air scrubbers out of the bottom of here because they weren't being used anymore, and just chucked one on this side because that's where the air cyst seems to congregate um, for some strange reason. Um, so that's that's where why this guy's over here. Uh, we've messed around with the plumbing, uh, so that is now just can transporting polluted water, and we've just chucking it on top of these hydro fans. I've put an extra hydro thermal regulator in. Um, and I've also upgraded all the pipes to uh, thermal um, uh, insulated pipes. So from this thermal regulator at the top, because we've got the gas going in at 46, down to 32. See what I can get on here. So 32 to 17 to three and a half to. Come on, you're going to show me. My now let's see. Um, right, there we go to minus 10. It's come out at minus 24. Then that goes straight in and is pumped out in here. Now, because it's coming through at minus 24, a lot of the heat issues I was having in here is now resolved. Uh, and also, I've got this uh, algae uh, de air deodorizer in operation so that it will actually. Um, keep some decent air in here uh, I won't show you down there just yet we have um, deconst uh, disabled all these because we've uh, not producing or using that much water it's only being used for this air scrubber and a couple of these uh, algae terrariums uh, if we go over here so we've put in um, well we have put item switches on everything and connected this section here, we've locked the doors to stop any gas getting out, but we have um, set that the same so that the filter and the actual pump will only work if this switch is over, um, I think a thousand grams, no, yeah, a thousand grams. So if we look at the electrics, that's the controlling that and we've actually started powering these uh, fertilizer makers as well so that we can actually start using a lot more of this polluted water. Because uh, at the moment, this has overflowed a couple of times, hence why we've got a lot of water here. Uh, because this was getting a little too full, so I diverted it for a while. Uh, so I'm thinking along the lines of uh, rerouting the pipes back up here and using proper um, abyssalite rather than sedimentary rock to stop it from um, breaking uh, while, while it's damaged, or sorry, breaking while the water's frozen uh, and then sealing off this whole section so that uh, we can uh, potentially um, fill this whole area up with clean water uh, so yeah that's 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 kind of the idea uh, I'm really pleased that this still has not uh, broken through and done any damage so we should, so that little uh, trick is working a treat um, and gas so we last time we looked at this gas here it was around 100 kilos so we are now looking at um hang on there we go 832 kilos <laughs> of carbon dioxide that is immense in there and there's still no sign of any damage whatsoever on these uh granite tiles which is really good um what else have we achieved we have uh no we haven't done anything there we've put in uh gas filters again for some strange reason even though the um environment where these natural gas geysers or geyser ge yeah geysers are sometimes it will actually it's still got some polluted oxygen in here it's quite high pressure and it'll then because originally it didn't have that um it was just pure natural gas and for some reason it's it, every so often it'll kick out some polluted uh, natural gas which was then causing damage to these things so let's have a look at what we've got going there so we've got that this one here being filtered uh, before getting sent over to these uh, six pumps and again everything that comes up from um, the other geysers gets filtered here as well so that can all go through and be um, cooled and pumped down the bottom so that's uh, what that is and so we've moved the wire right to the top and my thoughts are to uh, extend the sleeping quarters up to this sort of level 
um, mirroring the um, so basically probably having it uh, just probably that sort of size to there and then to there because of this heavy uh, watts wire I think there's two options I've got to uh, get away from having all the issues associated with the decor so if we look at the decor um, we can either um, totally remove this heavy watt wire from this side and reroute it somewhere at the bottom or I can set up a separate circuit uh, with more natural gas generators on the other side of the base and then just put uh, uh, have that circuit managed on the other side so we've uh, dug out a load of sand because we're having a bit of a problems there not really done much more to this uh, we've started to dig out these uh, this uh, st um, this bleach down let's just actually dig all that again because uh, I want to be able to have um, the what are they called hand sanitizers fully operation so if we go down here and follow this along no real change apart from we've dealt with this water uh, and we freed our puff he, he got out very safely there he is so he is producing uh, proper oxygen for us and at the moment I am working on a new gas fence and plumbing oh, not plumbing wiring is what I was looking for let's go there so new wiring going to, to this circuit here because we have opened up this gas geyser um, now it was really interesting the fact that if you look in here we've got um, a lot of polluted uh, oxygen um, what was actually happening because this geyser was covered with abyssalite I think only one corner was showing it was it was over pressure so it couldn't give off anything so I was able to actually uh, fully encase it in a smallish area then dig it out just to get the um, uh, free it up so that we can actually get rid of the uh, polluted oxygen now before I do anything with that I need to get filters on uh, to filter off all the polluted oxygen that's going to come out of that geyser uh, this one is still operating great now you're probably wondering what on earth's gone on here with all this natural gas well when we worked over here uh, to this one I was able to encase it with no problems however when I found this one um, literally as soon as I opened it up it kicked out humongous quantity of gas um, I mean we're looking at 13 kilos of gas on the outside here so what was in here I don't know the exact quantity we're looking at 100, 104 kilos of gas in here and that was basically because the gas um, uh, the same principle that happens on uh, these things so this if there's a bit of water in there that was the case uh, with this geyser as well so that's a way you can get them to be over pressured if they are also slightly under a bit of water so the amount of gas that came out I mean it's unbelievable it, it just it just went like a bomb and covered everything uh, but interestingly enough I thought I only had three geysers it turns out I found one and two two more geysers because I, I just spotted that one uh, on the on the last episode just found that that single tile and spotted it so the amount of geysers that this this base is given us is unbelievable and um, yeah so there's a lot going on there now we've also dug out this section here uh, to try and give us uh, some efficient uh, storage for all our polluted water uh, so that's been going on there and our food well our food is looking really happy if we look at our seeds we are uh, 13,000 uh, sleet wheat grains which is really really good um, I've opened up this channel here to uh, try and improve the efficiency and speed of, uh, of these guys working and one thing I had noticed is this whole area has really really high I mean you got uh, your oxygen over here, so it's about 2,000. You're talking kilos of polluted oxygen. So I don't know whether that's a direct co co correlation to all this heavy gas, uh, this natural gas that uh, was expelled out, but we've got a lot to get on with and deal with. So 
that's where we've got up to. Uh, I think that's probably taken me about uh, six hours to try and get all this resolved because new everything every time I I sorted out one problem, something else occurred. So let's just start this going up again, and I'll introduce you to a couple of the new dupes. So we have got um, Nesbit. Uh, I think I brought her in at the time because she was, um, oh, what was she? She was quite high in construction, but we've uh, put everybody on power so that, that they're all, everybody is really high in uh, athletics. So whatever they're doing, running around, they will do a good job. Hansen, uh, again, it was just, I think, purely down to the uh, food quality that was available at the time. Um, so he, he was quite happy with a minus two, I think. Uh, Ada and N Nicola so they're all really well um, advanced so we have got two new beds we're going to switch on this uh, building again this pod printer and I think we'll start by um, yeah there we go so let's quickly have a look at what jobs are on the go and if you also look at our stress we have very little stress uh, granted all the dupes uh, are now on the stress beds that's because I've got the set to a uh, silly uh, level so maximum stress of five and um, so it's a case of we're trying to uh, make sure that the dupes don't uh, get stressed whatsoever um, I need to before I bring any more in actually I just thought let me just disable that again I need to uh, mirror these toilets over here and possibly a little bit higher up um, because at the moment all these doors are locked off and that's really to try and maintain the uh, air pressure up here and so that all of the polluted uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide can float down. Um, I still want to keep those doors locked uh, but it's a case of I think that uh, I could do with probably putting a toilet block over here. Um, or a shower block and doing the same over here so that with the dupes as soon as they come out from this level they've got access quick access to toilets and quick access to showers I think um, yeah so that's kind of what I'm working on or in my head all right so let's just um, so first things first we need to sort out toilet block over here so let's just cancel all that and we're going to be putting in and new toilets because what I'd really want to do is have uh, enough um, of everything. What am I looking? Plumbing is what I'm looking for. Lavatories. I want to have enough um, services and so look what we got here. So all right, so we can just pop those in. Um, uh, hang on, is that right? That is on the outside. You sure? Yeah, okay, sorry. For some reason I was looking at that and it didn't make sense. Um, yeah, so I want to be able to have um, enough services for the dupes so that they don't feel like uh, the... Uh, oops, let's do that. Cancel that, put a ladder in. that so they can get on and do that first let's increase that priority to seven no one's cooking that's good um, I don't want things to cause stress uh, because when that last update last not last yeah last Thursday I think it was um, I started having so many problems with people uh, needing the toilet and not being able to use the toilet so I want to be able to make sure that all those sort of facilities are in place. Um, all right, so I'll tell you what, leave that. I'm going to, what's going on? Standing in a toxic area. Hmm, okay. Okay, so what I think, I'm going to slow this down so that I don't let things get away with me. We're also going to be putting in Copper tiles here because this is going to be a um, a mirror of that. Another 
one. Oops, what am I doing? Deconstruct. And put those in there. And then we can go with granite again. And down. I'm going to just oops, dig out this slot first before putting anything else in. So they can actually know what we're doing. They can reach two tiles either side, can't they? So I do that and do that. I'll, that should be fine. They should be able to dig out everything then in here. Excellent. Right, okay. So, oh dear me, I need to consider the uh, effects of those wires as well. That's quite severe. Hmm. It works a treat on this side. I think... Yeah, let, 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 let's let... Look, put my teeth in. Let's let them get all that sorted. Make sure we're all at seven. I uh, don't think I've got much. Actually, no, it's probably. I've got stuff down here that's eight. That's probably what the problem is. Right. Let's, uh, let me just go in. So, what's they doing here? What's priority is that? So, five. I've got a lot of eight activities at the moment, primarily to try and uh, manage this water here. Um, so that probably explains what's going on, and also got it running slower. <laughs> Always makes a big difference, that. Um, yeah, because I'm trying to capture, case that one uh, as well. I don't know why they don't go this way and do it. Let's just go for a swim. Mind you, it's a long way round. They've got to go. Grief. Oops. Where are you going? Are oh, you working down there? Okay. I say. So who's this? This is David. Let's follow him. Where's he going? So that is a long way round. Didn't think that one through very well, did I? Pop that in there. Mind you, once they've done that, that'll be a nice quick route down here. I'm not too worried. Uh, I had my vanishing water again. Um, I had a load of water in these two compartments here. That broke through and literally just poured down here into a single spot and it never it never went anywhere the next thing I knew there was a huge torrent falling down here that which then flooded this whole section uh, which was quite funny uh, so obviously that bug is still there what priority is all my food so the foods all seven and this lot down here is eight Maybe what I'll do is change that to seven, because it's not that important. Um, so once they've actually freed that up, because I, I really do want that out of the way, um, and dealt with that. What's going on with that one? That's an eight, that's fine. Um, we should start uh, having some dupes working their way onto other tasks. There we go, come on, get rid of that. Who is that, Dan? No, yeah, Dan Jam. There we go, and it's not going anywhere, typical. Come on. Let's take out another layer. Oops. Right, that should uh, make a difference now. Come on. 
What is going on here? Where is everyone? There we go. That's getting done, so that should make a big difference to letting the water drop out. That's fine. So if I get the tension off this water here, then that should um, mean that the dupes will... Uh, or, sorry, it should mean that the water should start flowing a little more um, naturally. There we go. He says, and he flipping joins, tension joins there, that's just typical. Let's get rid of it there as well. So I have a feeling there's more water, yeah, there's more water in here that needs to come down, so I need to get that out as well. Come on guys, there we go, that's out there. Let's join to that one. Oh, what the heck. Let's just do the whole lot. And leave that. Hopefully they'll get their act together shortly. Okay, so. If I'm going to... Um, speed things up. I'll have to do that as eight. Now, what have I, I've also found uh, very useful to do is, uh, first of all, send all the dupes down in a messy area to do one job. Uh, get, get them de-stressed and then go and chuck them on a, a uh, nice, relatively uh, easy area to work on where it doesn't actually stress them out that much, which works a treat. So a, a lot of this was done um, a bit doing uh, in the messy area, in the slime and, and the polluted water. And then the next day they were up here doing this job. So it kind of helped de keep the stress levels down. Although while they're working in here with the... Um, they cause so horrendous that will obviously cause stress as well so I want to get all this lot swept so that's going to be an uh, seven and get all that out of the way so that I can actually dig it out without too much food for this hatch because I don't want to give away all oh my goodness and right so water we need clean water coming in here so at the moment we've only got uh, our clean water at this far end going into here now it's coming through chilled so what I need to do and it's also full pressure so what I think I need to do is just send that straight the way through and yeah and then back up because if I do it there yeah actually if I do it onto this level here then it's at the right height for the rest of the work that I want going on. So let's go to Fleming, insulated, and we're going to go to Abyssalite. Take him there and up to there. Because I want to have a new block over here and this over here. I'll work a treat and then we can put the polluted water. Um, so I suppose there's no reason why it can't just come back down here in time. Um, let's have a look. Where should we have that go? So we've got to drip there. Then just drip all the way down. And onto here. Okay. Yeah, do you know what? I'm gonna let just let it drip um, down this ladder essentially, and that will do for the time being. We just have standard pipes for this, and we'll just connect those up. And I think actually, let's take that back. Let's keep it well hidden for the time being. deconstruct that as well so that's there so if I you know what it's not ideal but for the time being 
I'm going to put it here. Yeah. And that's how. Yeah. I'm going to pop it there so it can drip down. Um, I'm sure that'll work fine in the short term. But it also gives us another use for uh, this water on this side. Uh, so we can start utilizing that. Now, I've actually put a lock on here, um, primarily because uh, I don't want it overflowing again. So that will allow, won't allow this steam geyser to get beyond a certain pressure. Um, and then we'll then turn it back on again to uh, uh, fill this area once we've closed it up. Uh, I think I'll want to put another couple of pumps in here, to be perfectly honest, so that I can actually uh, ensure that I've got sufficient water coming out over uh, the time that I need it. So that's for that. That's fine. Cool. Um, I'm going to cancel those so they can get this pipe work done. And they can dig out here as well. Yeah. So they, cause I've got this water here to drop down, which. Uh, Actually, I don't want to do that. I want to make, maintain that drop at the moment. Otherwise, I've got to dig out further here, which probably isn't a bad thing, actually, thinking about it. Looking at how this area is, it might actually be more worthwhile to have a shower block here because we haven't got much um, construction over here. And then just set, extend out with additional uh, sleeping quarters on this side. That might actually work a bit better than to um, try and totally mirror everything on this side. Because I need to do something with all these batteries um, and move it all across. But then it opens up what the heck do I do with these? This humongously pressured carbon dioxide. Right. Never thought about that when I first did it. Okay, so let's just increase the priority on all this pipe work as well because it needs to be complete. Oops. So we can actually use the toilets. There we go. What's going on here? Are oh, there the other pipe work that needs to be done? That's fine. I'm going to reduce the air uh, and down to seven because uh, I want them to complete this block first and I'm actually just going to put another door in that side actually yeah do that and that should work a treat cool so where are they ah, bad time um, I'm also considering uh, we've, how we've got this section uh, really decked out quite nicely. I am considering um, introducing another cooking station down here um, and moving all these storage compactors because a lot of them are actually empty. Um, and get rid of those so that they can I can have 12 um, cooking stations. That will allow me to really uh, go to town when I need to... Uh, massively produce food but then I also need to make sure that I've got my power sorted out so if I look at my power it's a bit of a, a, a mess at the moment um, and what's powering what um, so if I look at this one here that's got 1.2 maximum watts but it's probably only drawing 480 regularly which is those um, actually no it's probably just drawing probably just under that I know it's only those two yeah so it's just pulling out on those two uh, cots at the moment so I need to sort that out. I believe they've sorted out the issue with um, uh, wire bridges. So that'll be really good. So I can get those over the heavy duty wire without uh, it uh, causing problems. So who's sleeping? Is that bubbles? Yeah. Okay. So if that is going to be a... I'm going to open that up actually. That realistically should be gas permeable tiles. Um, yeah, because that is kind of open to the whole elements at the moment, and then we can force out 
all the polluted oxygen later. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll put another door there. Maybe what I should do is have toilets, showers, and another toilets, so that this could be like the central hub. Because um, how much far does this go over? Right, okay, yeah. So I could, yeah, I think I'll do that actually. It's not ideal. Um, but if I create all my bedroom area this side um, and have this as a central hub, I can then rethink about how I uh, use that space. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just yeah. I'm gonna put those showers in. Actually, thinking about it, plumbing. So again, I'm gonna have those like that. Tile, granite. We'll maintain the uh, same sort of uh, distance for the dupes. So we're going to cancel that, those two actually. Make sure there's ladders in place so that everything can be reached. Yeah, do it like that. And the same with that. Let's chuck you across. Oops. So we can then put a, a third in the middle, uh, sorry, yeah, in each section. So we'll have uh, a block of uh, six toilets and six showers on either side. Um, the dupes won't know what the ha what's, what's hit them. Um, I won't be able to do it there until I've sorted out all that mess. Okay. All right, that's fine. Oh dear me, stress is building up. Okay, we've got quite a few guys going on there, so let's just change these settings. So it must be a case of the, the work that I've got going down below. So let's put you to 25, down to 10. And what I'm going to do, I saw um, Sky Storm, how he used uh, different um, settings for his ma massage tables. So. Um, to make sure that potentially those that are really high stressed will always be able to get uh, some re reduction via a massage table. So those top ones can be uh, the higher level stress to get it down to about 10. And then these things at the bottom here can actually just do the finishing off. So that should work uh, a little bit more effectively. Ah, food sorted. Right, so let's just pause that for a moment. Let's just go into cooking mode. So, priority nine. And you ready for this? So we're 19,000 calories. Let's see how long it takes. Here we go. And everybody's at it. Come on. Where is everyone? Don't tell me they're on the stress beds that's causing them not to be here. There we go. That looks better. So everybody is running around, delivering and removing. Come on. Power. Is quite low. That must. Why is that now? Is that just because of pure. Yeah. Hang on. Why is that stopped? Right, so that's there. So why have you stopped? Ah, oh, you absolute numpty. No wonder. 
Let's get this plumbing in sorted quite urgently. That explained a lot. Do you think so I should always remove tiles um, one type at a time so you don't make silly mistakes like that. Okay, so that should now get power back up and running. So that would seriously affect my ability to uh, um, produce enough food. I just think this is amazing just watching these guys fly around like this. So they've produced, let's have a look at reports actually. Um, no, I want reports. So calories generated. 22,000 calories generated, 19,000 removed. So let's just see what we can actually do on a single day with those um, six. Bear in mind, I've got everybody who can cook cooking. So I've got uh, people who are uh, David's there um, and then all the new dupes are there as well. So it's, it's basically everybody who can cook will cook there's David that our slowest cook at the moment but he will become a master chef uh, whether he likes it or not Murphy what's that you I wonder what the actual uh, skill sets of cooking is so noble you're a 13 Murphy's in a 12 Dan Jam is 11, Ringo is 11, Ellie's a 9, Little Biff is a 10, Oto's a 10, Mima is 11, Ren is a 12, Toby C is a 10, Abe is 11, Lindsay 11, Catalina 10, David a 1, uh, Bubbles a 10, and these two new guys are 1 and a 2. So, okay, so. Maybe what I should do is uh, specifically. Oh, what's going on there? Specifically, just leave some guys cooking on a regular basis, just to improve um, their abilities. I just love watching them. Is that bad? How much have we created so far? Fifty-nine thousand calories. Wow. 63 68 72 73 come on jump up a bit higher So basically for 20 tubes I need 20,000 calories a day, so 82, so that's 4 days worth of calories created so far. Come on, just do another 10. Come on, 10 more thousand. Come on, don't stop. 93, come on, I want, I want 100,000 calories produced, come on. 97, 98, 99. Come on, one more thousand. Oh, oh, blinking neck. That's five full days worth of calories produced by those six cooking stations. Um, thankfully, if I look at my seeds, I've got 14,000, so I know I don't need to worry too much about that. So that's given me five days. Let's just reduce the uh, reduce that down to six again, so the guys. Uh, can all be diverted um, elsewhere so uh, yeah uh, that's good that is so hopefully we'll get all this lot uh, this toilet section created now and we'll be able to uh, uh, get this fully operational right so that's cold water coming in and so we're going to do the same here And the showers, so we're going to go up 
down for this one because that will be a case of like so and then if we bring that down the middle and up and up and then down so what we can then just do with the showers is that that and that and that down to there and I need to put another pipe in actually so that's there so he needs to go there I put him in wrong haven't I nope it's coming out hang on what I'm doing that's what I haven't done that's what I need to do so that will water work its way around perfect so everything will all be ready for when they are ready to do the rest of their job I'm going to also put in a ladder here just so that uh, these dupes can work on this top section without having to uh, um, having any problems perfect right and they Oh dear me, no wonder everything's slowing down. Let's get everything in there done, please. Why does that look different? That's a bisolite. Waiting copper. That's, that's, ah, it's because I've already put tiles there, that's why it, it looks different. So what about this plumbing? So we've got that sorted. Cool. Excellent. So we'll be able to get those toilets hopefully working soon. Just need a bit, few more pieces of the paper tiles to be completed. Let's actually increase the priority of those as well so the toilets can be used. Oh, what if I Ah, dear me. What am I like? Perfect. So once this is done, I've got another three toilets. Excellent. Right. 90 odd thousand. Let's see what we've actually used yesterday. So it's just less than 20,000 calories we were using at time. Power generated. Oh dear me. Oh no, there we go. Power usage. So we've produced twice as much as we used yesterday. Oxygen we've still got a problem with. Um, I need to... Because um, obviously this is all beautiful still, thankfully. We're still producing sufficient to back it all up. I'm going to need to uh, come up with another um, oxygen solution for the um, extension over here um, because this will not cope with just that small quantity of oxygen being produced here so yeah and then I'll have to get my cooling involved and everything else again so it's a whole new gambit of where I put everything um, just so that I can actually bring more dupes in I've got so much to explore still oh dear me do with that sand. I've got some clean water here. I just want another ice bio down here where I can actually turn it into a uh, tank because I think I'm going to uh, fully ex oh hang on what's going on here you're waiting for algae right okay that needs to be resolved. Uh, do I have any algae? No, I don't. So, let's see. What can I, can I see any algae in here? Clay, slime. There's a load of algae. I'm going to prioritise nine of you. On the basis that we need wood. Well, and that. Um, yeah, let's pop you in as well. 
Yeah, because we need food and we also need to make sure that we've got uh, sufficient um, food production of seeds. So that's going to be unpaused. We've got algae there. That's going to be quite easy win. Uh, so algae, yeah. Okay, that's algae. Let's get that sorted. Dig all that lot out. Uh, we've got algae there. Uh, some more there. Oh, Ada, you can get yourself caught, aren't you? Or is it going to be noble? It's noble. Right, okay, noble. You can just dig out and just let yourself drop. There we go. Oh dear. All of you. there. No. How many people are there? It's just Nesbitt and it's just Hassan there. So one night won't cause them too much stress. I hope. Let's cancel those. Don't need those anymore. And that can all be dug out as well. Yeah. Cool. So, a five ton of value. Perfect. I'll keep it going for a while and let's deconstruct the buildings on those. Yeah, you should be able to reach everything and get another sculpture in. gas vents in here. Or should I put it? No, I'll put it at the top. Yeah, I'll put it at the top. Come on. Wondering maybe if I put one either side. Okay, so we need to get all that swept. And nine. Let's get all you out of the way. Okay, so we've now got... Have we? No, it's not even connected. Right, okay, so from there I need to put in plumbing liquid vents. Priority 9. Get that done. And then we've got another three toilets. What's the decor in there now? Can we put any pictures in there, I wonder? Oh, yes. Perfect. Have I got them over there? No, not on everyone. Ah, that's because I need to get the vents. Let's put those in. Let's do that. Alright, so they should now be operational. Perfect. Let's just get the rest of the decor in there sorted. Excellent. Let's work to treat that.
Let's increase the priority of those. So our guys come along and do it. It's interesting how the pitch is in front of the actual toilet. Is that the same over here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Come on, guys. Come on. Why have we got two different coloured toilets? Details. Gold amalgam. Gold amalgam. Gold amalgam. That's really strange, that. Perfect. Let's knock that down. And there you go. Another toilet block. So we should be able to uh, happily... Uh, introduce additional dupes so i think we'll call it a day for that episode uh, if you've liked what you've seen hit the subscribe give us a thumbs up it always shows support and until next time that's murphy out <laughs>